Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline and I create knitting content here on YouTube. In today's video I thought I'd share with you real quick one thing that I've had to do actually quite frequently with my knitting needle cords and that's kind of fix them a little bit. So what happens to me is that the place where you actually screw on the knitting needle so you can see this is like a little threaded end right here it comes off of the cord and what I often have to do is glue these back on um, so I would only recommend doing this if you already have super glue or something like that. And that's because these cords aren't all that expensive. So it's actually cheaper a lot of time to buy a new cord rather than repair it. But I tend to go through so many cords that I now just have um, a bottle of super glue that I can fix them with. So what I do first is I actually just make sure that I can fit on the end again. So I just make sure that it slides on easily. And so mine does. So you just want to move it back and forth a couple times just to make sure you kind of loosen it up a little bit. So mine's pretty good right now. And I am outside right now, so sorry if you can hear like the trees and garden noises in the back. But what I'm going to do next is, this is the glue I'm using right now. Um, just make sure you read the instructions on the back and then also there's different glues for different materials. And this is the hardest part here is just making sure you don't get too much glue. So the amount I use is I just take my cord, let me get that back into focus again, and I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of glue right on the end of it. Like not a lot at all there, I'm trying to find a color where you can see it. So there's like the little glue drop. And now I'm just gonna take the metal piece and I'm gonna slide it down and on and then real quick before anything starts drying, I'm just gonna give the cord, oops, sorry. I'm just gonna give the cord a little twist just to make sure there's no clumps of glue. And then again, make sure it's pushed down all the way. And again, you just wanna wipe down any of, any of that excess glue just so that you don't end up with a bump because the bump's gonna be quite frustrating when you're knitting because it'll definitely get in the way with the yarn. And now I just let that sit until the glue is all dry. And then I'm able to use that cord again. And then if, let's say the same thing happened on the other side, I could do the same thing to the other side of the cord. Um, and the one thing I will note here is that um, I have tried just about every type of cord from every different brand. And I found they're all basically the same. I have managed to break every single one of them at about the same rate. So I wouldn't say in particular one brand of cord is better than the best. I'm honestly not even sure anymore which cord this one is. It could be a leaky cord. It could be a Knitter's Pride cord. It could be any one of them. Um, but yes, that's how I fix them. I hope you found this short video helpful. If you have any other comments or questions about how to fix other parts of knitting needles too, I'll be sure to um, answer them down below. Also, I'll just keep on making these videos as I go through and fix different parts of my knitting needles because it is something that I have to do quite frequently. So thanks for watching.